Hi Nadja. What about luxury industry and design? What is the connection and the purpose to bring them together? Well, you know, I have to say, Swarovski has such a wonderful heritage within the design community. For me, design actually is luxury. And, you know, Swarovski forms the perfect ingredient for a luxury goods product. Um, we pride ourselves very much on creating the crystal, you know, and also on the quality control. Not one crystal leaves the factory with a, with a scratch on it or a bubble in it. But what has been very important for Swarovski throughout the last few decades is to really work together very closely with the designers who will give the product a different spin, who will integrate the product in a beautiful and innovative way in their creations, but most importantly, who have been able to demonstrate that crystal is a very creative ingredient within mm -hmm. the works of designers. You have commissioned Ross Lovkov for creating this magic That's chandelier. Right. What was your idea behind? Did he meet your expectation? Yes, Ross has absolutely met my expectations. I have to say it's been a phenomenal process from you know the original design idea to the realization of the piece. And the piece is so stunning. It's amazing how it changes color, how you can actually pull it up and let it come back, back down again, um, how it juxtaposes with the brushed aluminum table at the bottom and how it casts its shadow and its light onto the wall. Do both pieces belong together as both an pieces, example? Yes, both pieces do belong together because as you can see the chandelier is made specifically to fit into the table. And is this done for and a special is, purpose or so can I come as a millionaire and say, or a billionaire and say please I would like to have three or four of them for my can. chateau? So you could have Wonderful. this one piece, but you could also have it reproduced, and you could have it reproduced in a bespoke way. But what I wanted to say in, at the beginning about this entire exhibition is it fits into the Swarovski Crystal Palace project, and that project started about six years ago, where we asked cutting-edge designers, architects, and product designers to reinvent the concept of the chandelier. Does the chandelier has a special name, of course? And this one is the liquid space. Ah, yeah. Liquid, that's a good and word because Ross is a representative of natural design and organic yes, design. So that's uh, right. And for us, it's really amazing to see the use of these particular beads, you know, yes. which, are, which are components that cater to the fashion industry actually yeah. here being used for a chandelier. Is it for sale? And what? And if? What is the price for it? Yes, it like is that? absolutely for sale, and that price you can get upon special request. Yes. We really want to gauge if people are interested, and obviously we're catering to the art collector, the architect. People are truly interested in collecting pieces of work by Ross Lovegrove. But I guess it's a price in the hundred thousands. Yes. Of course. I it is so. absolutely the price of its worth. And are the pieces signed or numbered or, or well, what? Well, right now this plan? is um, that is still part of the discussion. But certainly, as we were mentioning earlier, we really want to make those pieces bespoke for the environment. You know, because obviously. It's a piece that makes But they are room. custom made so for a special room, absolutely for custom representative, made. representative rooms or yes. for public spaces and so on. That's right. Well, probably more, um, yes, no, obviously it's made for the dining area. This is the dining yes, table. Yes, of course. So. so I think it's beautiful and I think it's one of the best pieces here right. at the whole fair. Well, thank you so much. It's a tremendous compliment, but I can only say that it's been such a pleasure to work with Ross, and he has not let us down. Wonderful. And within Swarovski, you know, we love working with this, these designers because they push our boundaries and they show us what can be done with Swarovski. Crystal. I guess they are a challenge for you as a producer, and you are a challenge for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. With the new technologies no, and the true. means you offer to them. Yes, it's such a mutually beneficial relationship, you know, because we learn so much from them, they learn from us, and together that combined information and intelligence. I think you started pieces. with a solar car That's doing right. with him. He that was an amazing thing. Thank you. Well, he created the solar car about four years ago. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, although I did ask him to please create a chandelier. Not a chandelier, not so a car. So four years later, <laughs> finally here we are with a chandelier. Wonderful. And you know what? It was worth the wait.
Oh, good. So. <laughs> what are you doing next, Miss Hill? Well, this is really in serious. the next four years. Yeah. Well, we'll you know there are many projects Fashion. yet to be developed. Yes. Yeah, so well, that could be a very good could idea. Could be good. I know that Ross has his own distinctive style. Uh -huh. You know, the curtain uh -huh. certainly would cater to creating his own fashion collection. Perhaps jewelry, tabletop objects. Jewelry would be great to have yeah. a liquid jewelry Absolutely. for the body. Yeah. Well, basically, we just express we appreciate so much these designers who think so much out of the box and you know bring us to ideas that we otherwise never would have thought of. And one works very body related, so That's right. I think it's very obvious to ask him to design a jewelry collection and uh, to present it in four years' time. Right. Yes, exactly. Stay tuned. Okay, we we'll stay work in on tune. something. <laughs> okay.